today I'm starting a new series on my channel calling and calling it Will It Crunch? So it's basically where we test out different slime trends from a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, a couple years ago and see if they actually work. So today's challenge is going to be to see if fake snow works. So this is pretty much like little pieces of plastic that are supposed to make a great crunchy slime. So today we're going to find out if that actually works. So let's get started. The ingredients that we have is Elmer's Clear Glue, some contact lens solution, a little bit of baking soda, some green and yellow food dye. We are going to make it in the slime green, but when I add a little bit of yellow, I just think it looks prettier. And lastly, obviously, we have some glitter. We have some dark green glitter and some neon glitter. And we obviously have our supplies, our uh, mixing tool and mixing bowl. So let's get started. To start off this crunchy slime, we are going to be pouring in some glue. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a very big batch. Just a little batch, to because we're testing it. If it turns out really good, maybe in the future I'll make a bigger batch or a giant batch. So the next thing we're gonna add in is our food dye. So we're adding two drops of green and one drop of yellow. I don't know why I like this combination. I just think it makes the food dye look really pretty. So I just like it. Okay. No specific reason I chose to do it green. I just like the color green, I guess. So I'm wondering if after we leave it to sit for a couple days slash weeks, it'll clear up. So I guess we will do an update video on this slime if you guys want me to. So I'm now opening up my glitters, pouring in just a little bit. And by little, I mean half the jar. Because, you know, I go glitter crazy. Pretty much in every single video I've made these past month or two, every single slime had glitter in it. So, that's pretty cool. As you can see, I'm quite in a glitter obsession lately. Alright, so that's looking really pretty. So, we're now going to add in our baking soda. Now, I'm not sure if the order you do it in matters, like if you add in the snow now or if you add it in later, but I'm just going to add it in later. So I guess since this is a testing video, we will see. Okay. Actually, just to make sure this goes well, we're going to do half and half. So we're going to add in half the snow now and half the snow after. So a lot of people make it like a full flown kind of thing, but except it's not a flow. Sorry about the little sound, that is my dog. He is a very loud, chubby thing. So I'm just gonna make sure the snow doesn't spill. So as you guys can see, it's just a little pieces of plastic pretty much. It just look like, like snow, kind of, kind of not. my slime using our contact lens solution. We're going to leave it a little bit sticky so that more snow can stick to it. So we're going to underactivate it so that it's stretchier and stickier. So after you add it in, make sure you mix thoroughly before adding in any more contact solution. The most satisfying part of slime is when it starts to pull together. That is one of my favorite parts. If you're making this slime like me, you guys don't have to add food coloring or glitter. You guys can just keep it clear. You can add whatever you want. I haven't seen people add shaving cream or anything like that, but if you guys want, you can try it out for yourself and let me know down below. Just picking up all the excess on the sides. Okay, 
So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna add in a little bit more because it's kind of a little bit gluey on the bottom. So we're gonna get that under there. My dog is walking around so weird during the day he always sleeps but when I make a video he decides to roam the house so okay so that I feel that's sticky enough so we're just going to kind of clean up the sides of the bowl kind of thing and we're just going to take it out of the bowl there's a little crummy there glitter all right so let's play with it we're not finished yet we still have to add in more of the fake snow it's really sticky so just a couple more drops okay just keep on kneading it in until it's sticky, kind of sticky, so that it sticks to your hands and mat just a little bit. So it is really stretchy. I'm quite enjoying it. So, now we're going to add in some more snow. So let's get a little up close view of the snow. It's just little pieces of plastic. As you guys can see, just little pieces there. And we're just going to knead all of them in. Like this. You can either add in more until it's not sticky or just add in more activator if you like the consistency it's at. But I've never made this slime before, so I don't know when to stop. As you guys can hear, it is quite crunchy already. Even though we're not done adding more snow, I still want to add in some more. But let's give it a little test. Thumbs up! So it is really crunchy because of all those little bubbles. And it actually looks really, really cool. It looks like goo kind of thing. Glitter goo. So we're not quite done yet. We're going to see how much snow this slime can handle. So we're going to spread it out a little bit, just like that. And add in more. So this is also a test to see how much snow this slime can take. Okay, it's called frosty snow. So... So you can put this in your Christmas nativity for Christmas, which is what my family did. I don't know if you guys saw that, but you guys can go check out my Christmas vlog and my Christmas decoration haul. Guys, it is super crunchy, but it's starting to get a little less stretchy by the more snow we add. So I still want my slime to be stretchy. So we're gonna stop here. This slime can only hold one or two times its size or weight, whatever you wanna call it. I'd say size, I don't know. So I'm just picking up the extra pieces of snow all over the table. So as you can see, there's some falling out. That's because it was on my hands. It's not falling out of the slime. At least I don't think so. So yeah, we're gonna keep kneading our slime. So guys, listen closely, higher up your volume. quadruple thumbs up so yeah I really enjoyed testing out this slime you guys should test it out yourselves too it is really amazing 
super, super crunchy. So this slime pasta test, comment down below if you guys want me to do another slime like this, either bigger, smaller, you want me to do mini slime, or things like that. So let me know down below. This slime definitely passed the test. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to be notified to see more of these videos. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, then hit the options button and click always or all, whatever you guys choose, so that you guys can be notified when I post another slime testing video like this. So make sure to check back in in a couple days for my next crunchy slime or maybe tomorrow. Who knows? So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to become an official minion. And don't forget to hit that bell to come remember the Slimy Minion Fam and Notification Squad. So yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed and...